So if you're thinking of redecorating your house, maybe spicing it up with some new art pieces, maybe double check to make sure that the paintings you want to hang up aren't haunted. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today I am bringing you the Top 10 Haunted Paintings That Are Locked Away Part 2. So if you haven't seen Part 1 already, then I highly suggest you go and check that one out as well. Starting off this countdown, we have The Violinist. This was posted one year ago on Reddit by the user Harabovsky. He stated that he worked as an aide for an elderly woman, and as a result, he would have to run errands for her. One time, he went thrift shopping and came across a painting of an old man playing the violin. He bought it for a dollar and hung it up in his living room. He claimed that looking at the painting gave him inspiration. However, after a couple of days passed, weird stuff started to happen. The first being that he started to smell smoke being emitted from the painting. He said that it wasn't like a cigarette type smoke smell, but more like a bonfire smoke smell. Then little things would happen like his microwave door would open randomly and he would hear footsteps. He ended up taking the painting out of his apartment and locking it up in his car trunk. But the next day, he almost got into a big car accident. People then commented on his post saying that they believe he is being haunted by a Jewish demon, since the man in the painting is believed to be Jewish as he is wearing a yarmulke. They believe that this spirit is a dibbuk, which is mentioned in Jewish folklore and has the power to cling onto an individual and possess them. In our ninth spot, we have the girl in the red dress. So this next painting was bought from the thrift store. Again, like come on, like I mentioned in my last video, never buy paintings from the thrift stores. Too many of them are either cursed or haunted. I mean, I wouldn't want to take the risk, but you do you. The Reddit user XD5133 shared this story one year ago. He said that his friend bought this painting because it was super creepy. He claims that both the dog and the girl in the photo look like demons and that's what enticed him to buy it. I mean, interesting taste, but I don't judge. Then he claims that shortly after hanging the photo, they saw paw prints on the wall leading up to the painting. They don't have any pets and have no clue how the paw prints got on the wall. Nonetheless, he is convinced that the painting is haunted by the dog and its owner. Moving on to number 8, we have the child's painting. This next painting has a very tragic past. So it's an abstract piece that people interpreted as the world seen through the eyes of a child. Like the blue is the sky, orange and yellow is the sun, and green is the earth. So the painting was made by a boy named Danny before he passed away a year later from terminal cancer. He was 11 at the time. The mother then sold this painting on eBay after struggling to live with it. The mother claims that Danny remained attached to the painting. When they contacted the current owner, the owner said that the painting would shift on the walls all the time. A medium also managed to get in contact with Danny through this painting. However, the thing that made the owner the most unsettled was the words written on the back of the painting. It says, 1, 2, 3, 4, all good children get to heaven. They don't know who wrote this message, but it wasn't Danny. Making our way down the list at number 7, we have The Man in Armor. This was posted by the Reddit user DevilishAngel75. Unfortunately, there are no pictures of this painting. However, the user described it as a 3 foot tall painting of an old man wearing Spanish looking armor. He claims the painting was extremely detailed and the frame was made out of carved wood. Now, his mom actually bought this painting for him not knowing that it was haunted. <laughs> What a thoughtful gift. The first night of owning the painting, his AC unit fell right out of his window. The second night, a bunch of his knickknacks fell off his dresser. This led him to talk to the man in the painting every night before bed. He would ask him nicely to just behave. And this worked, until he stopped having the conversation with him. Then another night, he felt the corner of his mattress lift and then thump down on his box spring. The last straw was when his mother heard someone approach her bedroom door and whisper to her through the door. After that, they took the painting to the landfill to discard it there. So. Don't worry guys, the ghost is just haunting the landfill now. Moving on in our sixth spot, we have the painting from another dimension. The Reddit user Marco397 posted this story about three weeks ago, so this is a fairly recent encounter with a haunted painting. This user claims that he bought a cursed painting from a flea market. He was browsing when this painting caught his attention. Well, yeah, it caught my attention too, but not in a good way, just from how horrifying it is. But apparently, he really liked it because he bought it. 
A couple of weeks later, he moved and was unpacking his boxes when he decided to take a picture of the current state of his room and send it to his mom. The painting ended up being in the shot and when he reviewed the photo, you could see a weird distortion in the photo, almost like a figure was standing in front of him. A couple of weeks later, he took another photo and it appeared as if a ghostly handprint with claws was in the photo. Upon doing research on the painting, someone told him that it might have been painted by someone with schizophrenia. They said if you join the faces in half, together it will create a new face. When he did this, it revealed a very creepy image of an alien type creature. They believe that the person painted the creature that they were seeing from another dimension. The painting remains in the owner's hands, locked away in his house. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Rain Woman. So this painting has a really creepy backstory. The artist Zlatana Teletz claimed that she felt a hand guiding her while she was painting this picture. So. Basically, the spirit that made her draw the image looks exactly like that. Creepy. Here's something even more unsettling. Everyone who has owned the painting has returned it. The first woman bought it and called the artist begging for her to take the painting back. She said she couldn't sleep and felt like there was something watching her. The next man returned the painting after saying he kept dreaming of the woman. He said that the shadow of the woman would just walk around him. Then the last person bought it regardless of the other two incidents. He claimed that he wasn't frightened by it. Boy did he change his mind quickly. He claimed that her white eyes were haunting him. He started to see them everywhere and he would get terrible random headaches. Other people that have viewed the painting in person claim to either see the woman smiling or looking at them angry. Really. Moving on to number four, we have the demon nun. Just take a look at this painting and try to convince me that this painting isn't haunted. Just look at it, it's terrifying. So, this painting was found at a thrift store. Shocker. I mean, what thrift store would see this and then try and sell it? Like, no, I'd get rid of that so fast. Anyways, People that have seen this painting commented on the post saying that they felt very uneasy and that they ended up having dreams of this demon nun. Another person commented saying that they are convinced that it is haunted by the Valak demon as seen in the movie The Conjuring 2 and The Nun. What's creepy is the fact that both the crosses on this piece of art are inverted, representing Satanism. So what do you think of this piece of art? Did somebody make it just as a Halloween decoration? Or did somebody make it to summon evil spirits? Or is an evil spirit attached to it? In our third spot, we have the Anguished Man. This painting is known to be one of the most haunted paintings in the world. So the story goes that a man named Sean Robinson inherited the painting from his grandmother. The artist of the painting still remains unknown, but it is said that the artist mixed their own blood in with the paint. Then they ended up taking their own life shortly after the painting was completed. Sean's grandmother was convinced that the painting was haunted. She claimed that she would hear screaming or crying and would often see a shadowy figure. As a result, she kept it locked away in her attic. They believe that it was haunted by the ghost of the artist. When Sean inherited the painting, his son was pushed down the stairs by the ghost, his wife felt someone stroking her hair, and a shadow would lurk through the halls. To this day, Sean keeps the painting locked up in a secure location. He also claims that people are making replicas and selling them online, but the real haunted painting still remains in his possession, carefully locked away. Coming in our second spot, we have the boy in the striped shirt. What's so terrifying about an innocent painting of a young boy? Nothing. Unless the spirit of the boy comes out to haunt you at night. And that's exactly what happened with this next family. So the family that owned this painting said that it was left inside of the new home that they moved into. And for a good reason. They left the painting up in the hallway for the longest time since they were still unpacking and had a lot more important things to deal with than removing the painting. But the owners did say that whenever they walked by the painting, they felt like it was watching them. Then one night, while one of their sons was sleeping, he claimed that this boy visited him in his dreams. As nights passed, this young boy ended up making its way into all the family members' dreams, haunting them. Then that's when strange activities started occurring around the house. They would wake up to random things like their socks missing only to be found under their bed, or they would find their slippers had been moved. Now, they don't have a clue to who this boy is, but they are certain that his spirit is attached to the painting and is haunting them. As a result, they ended up removing the painting and locking it up in their basement storage room. After that, all the paranormal activity stopped, and they were never visited by the boy in their dreams again. And in our number one spot, we have the sealed painting. The next painting was bought from a yard sale. The man who bought the painting was drawn to it. He thought that the painting could be worth some money since it looked pretty vintage and the frame detail was incredible. 
He had the painting hanging in his home for quite some time before strange things started happening. It started when one night he woke up from a loud bang. Turns out the painting had fallen off the wall. But he dismissed this because the painting was heavy. Unusually heavy, he said. This continued repeatedly. That's when he decided that he was going to reframe the art with a different frame that was much lighter. And boy, was that the worst decision. He said that it was super hard to break open the frame. He uploaded images that showed how thick the frame was and how sealed it was. However, he finally managed to get it open and remove the painting. He believes that when he did this, he unleashed some sort of evil spirit. Every night at the same time, he would wake up with the sweats feeling really sick. During the day, strange things would happen like he would hear door slams and whispers coming from the room that held the painting. After attributing it to the painting, he decided to lock it back up in its frame. From there, the unusual activity stopped. So he learned his lesson. Sometimes paintings are securely locked up in his frame for a reason. And that's all for today's video, let's move on to our comment shout out. I'll be shouting out more comments from my video top 10 scary blues clues theories. Kid Cameron commented, theory, did Steve ever wash his shirt? I don't think so, no. Nope, <laughs> pretty smelly. Penelope Views commented, I heard a theory that Steve quit the show because he was in a death metal band and wanted to tour with them. Well, that's interesting theory. I wonder if that's right. Like, can you imagine like Steve and his like, I mean, whatever the actor Steve and his like little polo shirt rocking out to death metal. That's pretty funny. Twilight Moon commented, dude, yeah, you are so right. Thanks for the approval. Glad you approve. <laughs> Twilight Moon, like from like the Twilight. No, he's probably not a fan of the Twilight series, but if you are, cool. And that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today. Make sure you comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you.